politics now and some political parties or political scientists are of the view that less dominant parties can only make impact in the November elections if they make their parties attractive to voters. According to, the, to them, the, po the political parties have no capacity to win the upcoming elections. The formation of political parties in a democratic dispensation is as critical as electoral processes. In Ghana's political history, political parties have always been formed to compete in all elections. None of these parties have underestimated their strength in winning an impending election despite the capacity of the dominant parties. Ghana has a multi-party system of which the two dominant political parties, the NDC and the MPP, have always won elections since 1992. It is based on this difficulty that some political analysts have doubts about the chances of the less dominant parties. I think that they have not been able to, you know, strike a very important chord between the means and the objectives. Uh, of course, any serious person wanting to support a political party, or let me say, most serious people who want to, you know, support political parties are interested in those who can win. If they are able to package themselves very well and make themselves more attractive, they are likely going to win people who are, who are so disaffected with both the NDC and the MPP. And they are not likely going to win 2016. But maybe 2020 or subsequent elections, they become a huge force to work on with. Dr. Agri Dakon and Dr. Asedu Alidu did not doubt the political party's impact during an election if they joined forces. But once you remain fragmented, it's difficult to make an impact. You understand because you are it's like you are spreading yourself too thinly and then you will not be able to make the significant impact that you have to make going forward they will either have to come together ignoring their ideological differences and personal clash which may be a hindering factor or what they'll just do is that then they throw their weight behind the larger political parties and they will become technically a de facto two-party system Currently, there are about 24 political parties in the country's electoral system, with about five of them in good standing to compete in the 2016 general elections.